<coughs> excuse me, bro, um, 84 2, go and do me a favour, bro. I've given a comment with my email address. It's Hamilton Stephen, a V, Hamilton Stephen 704 at gmail.com. Go and um, give me an email because I'm a bit confused about one of your comments about two people. You know, son, you know, comment to me saying you know the two folk. So I'm a bit confused. Um, if you give me an email, then I can send you my phone number, then you get a wee weather. Um, my pal in Blackburn, Murphy, I want to say thanks for your nice messages. Um, this ghost, respect you, bro, for your nice messages. Um, and a few other you guys. But most importantly, I wanted to say there's a few boys in Edinburgh and uh, one of my best pals with my, my big, Jim, big Jimmy Highland. Um, I want to know if Jimmy Highland's still in prison or if he's out yet um, because his Uncle Ronnie is now off Facebook so I can't hold his Uncle Ronnie anymore. I was very close to Jimmy Highland and very close to his Uncle Ronnie. Now Jamie Highland's name. Um, no stranger to social media, uh, the media, the papers, or what have you. But um, some of the things that man done for me, I'll never forget, he actually drove, he got a lift all the way through West Lowen for Edinburgh um, and done one or two crazy shit for me back in 2013 and then I ended up getting banged up with him in 2017. That's when me, Donald Stoney Blackburn, was on a six year recall, they were missing a court date. And um, I was the only person who came up with Jamie because all the rest of the, even the Glasgow mob, some boys from Glasgow were write proper tickets. <laughs> and I'll never forget this one boy from Glasgow, he's in for nine years for two slashings. He says, Hi, boy, he's like, Do you know who you're sitting me? And I was like, Of course I do, I wouldn't be sitting otherwise. And he says to me, He's a fucking rocker. He says, He's crazy. Not one person from Glasgow would sit with him because he was so unpredictable. But see, if he liked you, if he liked you, you were safe as fuck. Jamie's the kind of person, if you're in bother and he, he respects you, you'd phone him up and be like, Jamie, I'm in trouble. There's 10 guys at my door. He would literally come through as fast as he possibly can for you. Jamie Highland's a dangerous man. He's a good guy to keep in me. But um, in Adiville, there was over 124 people. Pat McDoon's enemies. So um, they couldn't move him. They couldn't move him to Douglas B. And that's the same protection hall. But um, he was in there for six months because they could not get him a hall. But, um, so, if any of you guys know Jamie Highland, if any of you folk could follow me off of Edinburgh, I've got a lot of friends and close friends in Edinburgh, but I don't know if um, any of you know Jamie Highland. So, if he's Dano, why he's about to give a comment and just say, I, he's released, I, he's back on Facebook, or I, this is his Facebook name, because I hate to get back in touch with him for good reasons. Um, because, really, I should have got in touch with him four years ago, but I just didn't come where he was. I know he was in prison, obviously, but I didn't come where Holly was in. Uh, he was in for two attempted murders. So, if somebody can let us know if Jamie's out and about, let us know. I love Jamie to bits, he's all respect for me. Um, so why? I know I rant on some... Uh, uh, cheers. I know I go for one thing and another thing when I make a video. But that's just the way my brain works. Are you leaving back up for him because I knocked you out last night? <laughs> <laughs> she opened the door and it'll whack me in the heat. Need, no. You were giving me cheek. Anywhere yet? Burton, no. You done that to me deliberately. I thought you did that windy. <laughs> Put it in your fucking pint and smoke it. <laughs> You're leaving your big pal for backup? Yes. In I, suburbs. I don't need anybody for backup. I've got any enemies. I'm a lover, I'm a hater. I love you, baby. I love you too. So I, um, again, last night, I was a bit drunk, making a daft live video, seeing some stupid shit, and like I went and done, there was a bigger man, I made a video five minutes ago, and I didn't, I didn't say as much apologise, but I'm really sitting there arguing with a guy that I used to be pals with, because him and his, his ex-partner have got a lot of beef going on. I just... Really, I shouldn't get involved with that, but obviously I'm defending her. But at the same time, it doesn't need to come to violence, me and I'm fighting and all that. It just really doesn't need to come to that at all. 
And I'm quite sure if he went out my next bird and we were like came big massive rants and raves and he'd play the fenter. But if you're talking to Jason Mihami, I want to just call a day, be pals. We don't need to fucking go for a pint every weekend, but if we just eat jar in the pub, we can eat a pint and whatever. And that's the way it's going to be. So she'll know back down for me and I wouldn't back down for him. But I made a video, a public video, to say, let's be men about it. Let's go to a nice way without arguing or fighting. It's not that. I've got, there's a, two or three guys in Blackburn. I'm not going to say their names, right? But one's a cage fighter. His best pal, well, one's best pal, has got four or five boys. He's always watched my videos. He's always some inspiration. Yes, I got myself down sometimes. I see I've silly things. I get drunk. I'd still do odd daft things, Ken, but you can't expect a lad of 20 year addiction to just stay sober all his life. I'd love to, but unfortunately, I got myself doing sometimes, but that's part and parcel of just recovery. So, I've got another guy on YouTube, well, I've got actually quite a lot of folk on YouTube saying this to me, but this one person in particular, he's got an 11 year old boy, and he's saying, Harry, these are the kind of videos I want my son to watch. So, at the same time, your 11 year old son can watch my positive videos, but then you can also show him the other videos of me being chaotic and saying, see, this is what happens when you're being scrambled. Because I never sugarcoat none. Like he says, I don't put a none up. I'll make a video. If I think I made the national video, I'll post it. Then I'll look back a week later and say, you know what? I was totally off my tits in that video. Or I made the national man say on that video. And it makes me, like, you know what I'm trying to say. So anyway, there are a few wee different stories in the one video. So anyway, Ben... Respect, bro. This is done me now. We're not going to come to fucking fighting. Simple as that. We're not going to come to fighting. Unless you whack me first and we'll fight. But I can't see you doing that. Because you're a man in your world. And I know I'll not attack you first, okay? So, that is it. So I'm done me now. I'm not a grass. You're not a grass. I've not reported the grass in any cunt. Yes, I've said something on a podcast that I didn't mean to say. I had too many drinks. I was one of the biggest crime families in Newcastle. They got me steaming from it on it. And I, I say, son, I, I, I didn't mean to say, but it wasn't grassing. Ken, I'm the man been in prison 33 times. No him, no use. Right, I'm not going back to prison. I'm staying, I'm keeping my nose clean now. I just want to spread awareness and do the thing. And the only one person I did grass on, it took me 20 odd years to do it, was the pedophile. Because the, the life I lived, I thought, if I grass on him, I'm a grass. If I put me in the post, I'm a grass. And told you guys thought, nah. Pedophiles, kiddie fiddles. I saved your kids, my kids, other folk kids. So anyway, I'm going to love his knees at that. Apologies for last night again. And have a good night and stay blessed. And try just do not... F didn't create enemies. God's put a lot, God's gave us all a chance of life to enjoy life. Not to fall out.